In this video, we're going to learn how to make hollandaise sauce. So to start, it's really important with hollandaise sauce that we have all of our mise en place together before beginning. So for equipment, we're going to need a bowl, a pot with simmering water, melted clarified butter at about 120 degrees, but no more than 140 degrees, and a fine whisk. The ingredients that we need are going to be clarified butter, our lemon, our egg yolk, room temperature water, as well as our seasonings, which are going to include salt, white pepper, hot sauce, and Worcestershire sauce. All right, so to begin, we're gonna combine our egg yolk, about a teaspoon of water, and just a little squeeze of lemon juice. We're going to adjust the acidity in the end, but the lemon juice, the acid in the beginning is gonna help us uh, get our egg to ribbon stage. So using my fine whisk, I'm going to start whisking my egg yolks along with my water and my lemon juice. So I really want you to note the color right now and how it's kind of a dark yellow. And what we're going to do is as we incorporate air using our fine whisk, we're going to change to a real sunshiny lighter yellow. Uh, All right, if you can see in the bowl, uh, our egg yolks have really lightened. Uh, we have a really nice frothy base. And at this point, we're going to go over our hot water. Um, so please note that the, hot, the water uh, is hot. It's just starting to simmer. Um, it's not at a rolling boil. So we're going to go ahead and whisk our egg yolks here uh, until they start to thicken. This is what's called ribbon stage. Um, it's really important, if you'll note, that I'm kind of working my whisk around the bowl. I'm working my whisk all along the bottom, along the sides, because I don't want these egg yolks to cook, okay? Uh, I don't want them to start to scramble. That's gonna give my sauce a grainy uh, appearance uh, and texture in our mouth. Um, I just want them to start to, to thicken. So you can see I'm moving my bowl around, kind of scraping the yolks off the sides, making sure I cover the whole bottom. The other thing that's really important uh, when I'm using my whisk is to note the way that I'm uh, actually using the whisk. I'm not using my whole arm going around the bowl. Uh, I'm just using my wrist very lightly. And you'll see as I uh, continue through the video, um, I have my wrist kind of in this angle. And then occasionally, you know, my, my wrist will start to get tired. So I'll switch positions and go like this. But all the movement is just coming from my wrist. It's not the whole arm. Um, and that's why I can make a whole lot of hollandaise sauce, uh, you know, without really tiring out. It's very labor intensive to whisk like this. So we've gotten our sauce to the ribbon stage. Uh, you can see it's much thicker when I run my whisk through it. You see how it kind of accumulates on the whisk. Uh, also, when I collect it, if I run it through the bowl, it kind of makes a line into the sauce. Um, so my sauce is, uh, my base has thickened. And now I'm on to my next step. Uh, so the next step in our process is going to be uh, adding the butter. Uh, and there's a couple different uh, things we need to take into account. 
Number one, hollandaise is a warm butter sauce. So we need to make sure that our sauce stays warm. Having our clarified butter at about 120 degrees is going to help that, but we're also going to have to um, keep the base of our sauce warm. So there's a couple different ways to do this. Uh, whatever works best for you uh, is fine. Some people like to go on and off. So from the hot water onto uh, the board, you can see that I have uh, a towel here, a side towel. It's just a regular square towel. Make a little donut shape with it. And then I can rest my bowl in that and I can whisk so that I can add my butter and I can whisk with just one hand without the towel. You can see when I whisk the bowl, a little more, uh, a little less stable, whereas on the towel, it's quite stable. Um, so some people like that, that back and forth. You can judge the heat of the sauce by feeling the bottom of the bowl when you go back and forth. Um, what I'm going to do at this point is I'm actually going to just turn the heat off, put my hot water on my board here, cover it with my towel, and put my uh, bowl on top. Uh, so this does a few things. The towel kind of is a nice buffer for the heat, so it keeps it warm, not hot. Um, and um, it's also going to, again, give it a lot of stability so that I can whisk with one hand. So what we need to do now is we need to start adding our butter. In the beginning, it's really, really important that we add our butter one drop at a time. Okay. So while continuously whisking, I'm going to add one drop of butter and incorporate it. And you can see I'm really just very slowly adding butter. One drop at a time and incorporate it. Once it's incorporated, one drop at a time. The whole process is not uh, this tedious. It's just in the beginning until we build up our base. So as we add butter, um, the sauce is going to thicken. And once the sauce starts to become a little bit unmanageable, we're gonna use our warm water to thin it back out. So if you can see down into my bowl now, that sauce is thickening. You can start to see it really clinging to the sides of the bowl. You can also see now that I have this base going, the sauce is starting to thicken. I'm starting to add my butter a little bit faster. So instead of one drop at a time, I'm adding three or four drops at a time, then stopping and incorporating, three or four drops, stopping and incorporating. I also occasionally am gonna to wanna to stop and check the heat of the bottom of my bowl. Um, you know, the way I learned it is you should be able to hold your hand to the bottom of the bowl and say hollandaise, and then by the time you want to take your hand away, you've said hollandaise. So say hollandaise, ooh, the bowl's hot. Um, you know, I don't know if that's super effective. The way I teach it to people is it should feel like you're going into a hot bath. Like, it's a little bit warm, but it's not like, oh God, I gotta get my hand away from it. Um, but so long as it's, um, you know, on the, warm hot side like that hot bath you're going to be just fine uh, if it's cold right now what you're going to want to do is maybe take your towel off go back over the heat and let it warm back up before you start adding more butter um, and if it's too hot if you put your hand in the water wow that's hot you just want to take it off of the heat and then continue to make the sauce until you get back to that you know really nice warm uh, bottom of the bowl but i was actually pretty good uh so i'm gonna go ahead and just continue this way so you can see now that my sauce has really thickened it's starting to get a little gloppy uh in the bottom of the bowl it's starting to look a little more like mayonnaise uh than like a real smooth velvety hollandaise sauce so at this point i'm gonna add just a touch of my warm water to thin it back out. So water is gonna thin our hollandaise sauce and butter is going to thicken it. So now that I've gotten to this first stage where I had to thin, I can start adding my butter at an even greater clip. And if you can see here, I'm now adding my butter in a really, really slow stream. So instead of one drop or three drops at a time, I'm adding my butter in this really slow stream. 
incorporated in it. If my hollandaise sauce at any time starts to break, it's for two reasons. One, the sauce has gotten too hot and I need to cool it down. Or two, I'm adding the butter too fast. What I'm gonna do if I see my sauce starting to break is I'm gonna take it off the heat and I'm immediately gonna add a little splash of water, about a teaspoon of water. And that water should help re-emulsify my sauce. But I'm not breaking right now, so we're just gonna keep adding my butter until it gets thick and I need to cool it down. All right, now that I have a nice big base going, I can really increase the rate at which I'm adding my butter. So you can see now that sauce is starting to get real thick and gloppy again. Another little splash of sauce, oh, excuse me, splash of sauce, another little splash of water. It's gonna help thin it out. back to adding my butter. Again, I'm never just dumping my butter in, right? There's never a point in holidays where I take a full ladle of butter and dump it into my sauce. That will break your sauce. But you can see that I can pour it in at a much faster rate than I was initially where we started with just one or two drops at a time. One more ladle to get to my eight ounces of clarified butter. All right, so I've incorporated my uh, eight fluid ounces of clarified butter. I'm gonna check my temperature. My temperature is good. The bowl is still nice and warm. Okay, and now it's a little bit gloppy. We want hollandaise sauce to be nappe, um, just able to cling to food to coat the back of the spoon. Uh, this is definitely uh, gloppy. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna just thin once more with a little bit of water. Um, and we can always add more. So start with a little bit and then thin as needed. have any seasoning in this so we're going to season with a little pinch of salt a little pinch of white pepper always be careful when adding white pepper uh, white pepper can really take over a dish so you want to add just a very little bit you can always add more I always do about two drops of hot sauce some recipes call for a cayenne uh, I personally like the hot sauce uh, it gives a little bit of uh, acidity from the vinegar and just two little drops of Worcestershire sauce. We really don't want to overdo it on the Worcestershire sauce because it can turn our sauce uh, gray. But just a couple drops are gonna add just a little bit of savory uh, flavor. All right, so at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and give my sauce a taste. You can see the nice consistency of the sauce. It coats the back of the spoon, but it's not gloppy like mayonnaise. Real nice consistency of the sauce. Nicely coats the back of the spoon, but it's not real gloppy. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a taste. All right, now our seasoning is good. It just needs a little more acid. This is when I'm gonna go back in with just a little squeeze of lemon. and that's our hollandaise sauce. Let's review. To start, we're going to add our water, our egg yolks, and a squeeze of lemon juice. Incorporate air into the ingredients until it gets nice and frothy. Put the ingredients over the heat and whisk until we get to ribbon stage. 
Next, we're going to use water throughout the process, both to help thin the sauce as needed, and also to stop the sauce from breaking if it ever starts to break. Finally, with hollandaise, be careful of your heat. Feel the bottom of the bowl, go on and off from the heat as needed, and make sure the bottom of that bowl stays really nice and warm, but not scalding hot to the touch.